Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on this video. As always, I'm Fox, and I appreciate you guys checking out my video. Um, right now, I'm just going to talk about this awesome console of a beast of a machine um, that is the Gears of War 4 Xbox One S that is coming out in October. And I'm really looking forward to not only this awesome console, but this game. Um, as you guys can see, this is footage from the beta, which I thought was amazing. Even though it wasn't, you know, finished, it wasn't polished up, um, I still had fun playing the multiplayer against everyone. And I even played with some friends, and that was pretty cool. So I'm really looking forward to um, this game. But about the console, I'm really looking forward to it. It has 2 terabyte. Uh, it has some exclusive content in it. It has that cool control that it has Bluetooth and uh, nice features in it. Um, what else? It has a stand for the console, so you can choose to lay it down or stand it up. Um, I might stand it up just so I could have it next to the Xbox 360 Gears of War 3 for a little while. Then later on when I put my Gears of War 3 console away again, then I'll lay it down. Um, but I'll stand it up for a while just so I can look nice and look pretty cool. I'll probably take some pictures. Yes. I will take some pictures so you guys can add me on Instagram if you want because I will be posting those on there. Um, it also comes with a digital game. Um, how could I forget? Uh, it's the Ultimate Edition. Um, I'll probably install that so it could be a fast switch between Halo and Gears. I'll just um, have Gears ready to go. But I probably will eventually get the physical copy just because I like having my physical games. Uh, I'll probably wait until the price drops on it, and then I'll have it twice over. Um, I do have multiple copies of Gears of War 1, 2, and 3. I have them digitally. I have them physical. I even have the, the, um, the special edition boxes and stuff like that. So I really can't wait for this game. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you do get early access, so it's going to be on October 7 that you can play this. Um, you'll get some vintage Dell, Dell packs and, like I said, exclusive stuff. Other... Um, vintage packs as well six bonus gears packs um and the season pass all that in the console um it's going to be 150 i mean 450 sorry it's going to be i wish it was 150 uh it's going to be 450 and it's going to be worth it it's going to be the best looking xbox one uh around um other things that i want to check out and get for gears was um the mcfarland action figures the collectibles and they're not that expensive. They're 20 bucks, and I seen the JD one and the Kate one. So I thought those were pretty cool, so I'll probably get that for the collection. Um, I'm really not into the other one that I've seen that has JD in the motorcycle. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but I'm not interested in that uh, look. I'd rather have them, like, standing up and stuff. Um, they also have some uh, Funko Pop figures that you could collect. Um, I think there's six of them now. At first, it was, like, two or three. Now, I think there's six. Uh, from the pictures that I've seen. I'm probably going to get all of them. I do collect pop figures. I'll probably do a video about that in the future after I move. Um, but yeah, moving on. Uh, the next thing that I really like about Gears is they're doing a loot crate. So they will be doing two loot crates. Um, one of them is going to have the digital game as well. That one's going to be uh, 130 And um, the digital... Uh, game for Gears 4. Not only does it come with that, I believe it is the Ultimate Edition, but it also comes with the digital games for the 360. So if you guys don't have those, or if you want to give them to friends who you know they want to play Gears but they don't have the 360 games, uh, th that comes with it in the box as well. And then the other box, it just comes with all the goodies that already uh, they're, you know, they're saying they're, they're exclusive Loot Crate items that are gears like uh i believe one of them is a hoodie and stuff like that um that one's just going to be 80 bucks so that's the one that i'm going to be picking up the 80 bucks one because i'm already going to get the digital game with the console so i'm looking forward to that that's going to be pretty cool loot crate usually doesn't disappoint they do good boxes especially when they're exclusive they've done one for halo and they've done one for star wars um so they're pretty good i used to get their monthly crates all the time before uh not anymore though I'm thinking about getting the gaming one, which is just anything related to gaming. They'll throw in there random stuff, and then you can pay a monthly fee for that. Uh, the last thing I'm going to mention 
which is amazing. And I did not know they were going to come out with this at all. I had a feeling about the console, but not this. Which is the HyperX, the custom Gears of War headset. They look amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know that much about it yet. I'm going to look into it some more. But I do know that it's uh, going to come out in the beginning of September. Um, and I do know that it's going to be about 150 um, so that's going to be pretty cool. I want to get those. I do have some Gears of War uh, 360 headset. Um, I haven't used them for a long time, but that was by Triton. So these HyperX, from what I'm hearing, are really good quality. And I know someone who has, actually, I think I know a couple people that have HyperX and they say it sounds amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, all the things for Gears, I mean, I even tweeted at them saying, you guys just take my money. They sell a lot of stuff and... Um, I wish I could get them all now and get them all pre-ordered, but first I'm going to get the, the, the moving out of the way and make sure my money goes to the right things. And then later on, after I'm settled, I'm going to start buying all the, all the things for Gears. And then hopefully I'll have an awesome video for you guys with my Gears of War collection later on, probably this year. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. That's my video. It's just me overly excited about um, all the cool Gears of War things that I'm going to get. And um, I'm really happy to grow my Gears of War collection. And I'm also, I can't wait to play the game, actually. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are going to get any of these things, uh, one or two, or even all of them. All right, bye.